Fala aí, era galera, cara, já que está aqui, olha, como só, já está aqui, olha, que é de leite em três telas, é de coisa, olha, a dos coisa, bom. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Croke Park, a rather cold and almost dreary Croke Park today, with a bitter breeze blowing and overhead gray clouds that one could quite easily think were loaded with snow, in fact, almost a wintry sea. The occasion, the first semi-final of the Railway Cup in football. And at the moment, the Arcane Boys band playing out center of the field and eyes over towards the exit from the dressing room awaiting the arrivals of the team. Now, Munster team will be particularly interesting because uh, they are waiting the arrival of Jimmy Lucy from Kildare to know if he's going to take his place at the center of the field. Mick Fleming and Mick O'Connell are both off the Munster team, Mick Fleming being a late defection, and uh, this morning an SOS went to the uh, color down in the, to the army for Jimmy Lucy to come up and uh, if Jimmy arrived in time and up to two minutes ago he hadn't arrived in the dressing room he will take a place in the center of the field if he doesn't well I can well visualize that Tom Pat Sullivan will move out into the center of the field but we'll let you know more about that when we know whether or not Jimmy Lucy has arrived Jack Keating is playing at top of the left for Munster and on the Ulster team there's one change, Sean O'Neill is off and is replaced by Sean O'Connell. Now I'll give you the full rundown of the teams in just a few moments but this is only one of the two Railway Cup semi-finals being played today. Way down in Pierce Stadium in Galway, the Leinster Herders and the Connacht Herders are in opposition. Liam Campbell is down there so let's go over to Liam Campbell and find out what has happened in that game down there. Over to you, Liam Campbell. Just really a record of it. Well, you're for Park and Percy to Galway. Well, the position here in Galway between Leinster and Connacht is that the scores are level after 18 minutes of play in the first half. Connacht 1-1 and Leinster 4 points. And at the moment, it's Leinster attacking, but Connacht making a great effort. Connacht represented by 13 Galway men and 2 Roscommon men. A late defection from the Connacht team was Matty Fox at the top of the right. He's replaced by Brian Mitchell of Roscommon. So both the goalkeeper Tony Gavin and Brian Mitchell are Roscommon men. And at the moment, the ball is in the Connacht net, but uh, I think they, it has been disallowed. At any rate, the score at the moment, 1-1 for Connacht, 4 points for Leinster. And back now to Croke Park and Michael O'Hare. And over here we have the news that uh, Jimmy Lucy has not arrived in time, although the Munster team hasn't come out yet. I understand that they have made what one could term as alternative arrangements. The Munster team is as follows. In goal, Johnny Cullity. Right back, Mick Morris. Pull-back, Niall Sheehy, left-back, Corda Donahue. The half-line, on the right, Dennis O'Sullivan. In the centre, Pat Dawson. And on the left, Paddy Marnie. The centre field, Mick Burke and Contact Sullivan, both of court. The half-line, on the right, Pat Griffin. In the centre, Mick O'Dwyer. And on the left, Johnny Carroll. Top of the right, Monty Gyrie has now come on at top of the right. The full forward is Jack Keating, and top of the left is Michael Babs Keating. So we have two Keatings in the Munster attack. And now, the, while the public address system is giving this information out over the loudspeakers to the crowd here, Munster just beginning to appear in their royal blue jerseys. And here come Munster out now, and in a few moments we'll have Ulster on the field. And as we wait, we give you the Ulster lineup. In goal, Seamus Hoare. Right back, Gabriel Kelly. Full back, Bernard Brady. Left back, Tony Morris. Right half back, Dan McCartan. Centre half back, Tom McGuire. And left half back, Paul Kelly. Centre field, Sean Ferreter and Ray Carroll. The half line, Sean O'Connell of Derry comes on for Sean O'Neill at right half forward. In the centre is Jody O'Neill and on the left, Paddy Doherty. Top of the right, Charlie Gallagher. Full forward, Joe Carroll. And top of the left, P.G. Tracy. And the referee for today, Mr. Hughes of Loud, out in the centre of the field, shooting a little bit on his whistle every now and again, uh, requesting the arrival of the team. Munster, or uh, most of them anywhere, out on the field already, in their royal blue jerseys. And I can see the saffron, or the yellow, it's more yellow than saffron, of Ulster just coming out now, led by Tom McGuire, who was a doubtful starter up to this morning. Tom, who got a knock in the eye in the game last Sunday against Leeds, reporting fit and lining out for Cavan. 
Now the rest of the Munster team coming out of the breeze, blowing rather strongly, if one can judge by the bite in the air and by the direction of the tricolor on top of the Cusick stand on the far side, the breeze blowing from left to right, that is, the team who will defend the railway goal on our left in the first half will be favored by this rather strongish looking breeze. Bitterly cold here at Crow Park and the crowd, well, huddled in for all the shelter they can find. Not a huge crowd by any means, but one might term it a satisfactory crowd under the conditions of the day. Now the Munster men posing for their photographs, and we have Ulster here today, all out in their bid to enter yet another Railway Cup final in Coast Park on St. Patrick's Day. All out in their bid to win three Railway Cups in a row. And Munster out to try to play the bogey that seems to have followed these men from Munster through this competition. Somehow, Munster of the Cinderella province, as far as the Railway Cup are concerned, but just when everyone decides that they don't have a chance against an all-powerful team, up they come and make a really fine showing. What's going to happen today? Well, we'll just have to wait and see. Down there, I can see Vincent Murphy of Clare having a word with the Clare man on the team. That is Paddy Marley from Milton Malvay. Now, Paddy is, his real name is Paddy McMahon, but they've got so many Paddy McMahons around Milton Malvay that he is known the length and breadth of Clare, Munster, and Ireland as Paddy Marley. And it is worth, I think, recalling that when Munster last won the Railway Cup back in 1949, they had a Clare man on the team, the scorer in chief of that victory, and that was uh, Noel Crowley. Now they're tossing the coin, and Ulster, I think, have won the toss and have decided to play against the wind in the first half. Mick Mallis, the captain of the Munster team, and Tom McGuire, the captain of the Ulster team, were down around the referee, and now Ulster are defending from right to left playing from the canal goal to the railway goal as the team just change over now. They were kicking the ball around of the opposite goal just a few moments ago and now the bat's going back into the position. Meanwhile, down in in front of us, the Arcane Boys band have lined up to face the tricolor in the cold that's prevailing today. They're not having any parades or anything like that and it will be straight on with the anthem and then on with the game. The drum major giving his signal, the roll of the drum and our national anthem. <laughs> 